Welcome to Brando Consulting. My name's Lance and we're going to go over reconciling in Fishbowl. Reconciling is the process of entering the vendor invoice into Fishbowl. So surprise accountants and bookkeepers, you will no longer enter the vendor invoice into QuickBooks for inventory related purchase orders. You will now enter the vendor invoice into Fishbowl. So let's take a look at an order that has been received and let's reconcile it. My first recommendation is do not use the buttons on the right. You don't have control over entering the invoice date or number. Use the reconcile button on the top left hand corner. Do not use the fulfill button. It does not let you go through the reconciling steps. So we'll click on reconcile. In this first screen, you can enter the vendor invoice number. You'll enter the vendor invoice date. You'll edit costs if necessary. Sometimes that happens. The amount we put on the purchase order is not the amount the vendor charged us. Then we click Next. On this screen, we add shipping charges. We'll click the plus sign search for the shipping charge, enter the shipping charge, and we have this little checkbox here. 99 times out of 100 we'll leave this checkbox. Usually the vendor charges us for shipping and includes it on the invoice. Very few of my clients uncheck this box. In case you're wondering if this box is unchecked then once this transaction flows through to QuickBooks the shipping charges will be included in a separate journal entry apart from the bill. And that journal entry will just be a debit to expense and a credit to shipping accrual. If this box is checked, shipping will be included in the bill and shipping expense will be debited and there will be a credit to payables along with everything else on the bill. So we've entered our shipping charge. We click OK click Next. Here Fishbowl gives us an option to land the shipping costs. What that means is the shipping costs will be rolled up into the value of the inventory and an additional journal entry will be added to the same transaction. It'll be a credit to shipping expense. Notice before we just debited shipping expense. Now we're going to credit shipping expense and debit inventory. That's what happens when you land the cost. We debit expense and credit payables and then when we land it, it credits expense, shipping expense, and debits inventory. So it all goes into the inventory account when we're done. Now this is optional. There's a setting up here you can turn off to make it default differently so it does not calculate the landed cost. In this example, we're going to calculate the landed cost using the most popular option, the cost option. So I'll click Next. Now you'll see here we have the costs that were on the purchase order, the costs that were on the invoice, and then finally the costs that will be added to the costing layer in Fishbowl, and the total amount that will be added to inventory. Here's our total value of inventory received. If this number, 329,714.75, if this does not match the amount on the vendor invoice, then click back and make the corrections necessary. If this does match the invoice, then we're done. Okay, so now once we click finish, it's going to change these to blue check marks and this transaction is queued up and ready to go to QuickBooks. On the next export to QuickBooks, this will delete the item receipt in QuickBooks and create a bill in QuickBooks. So once again, once this transaction flows through to QuickBooks, it will delete the item receipt that was originally created and it will create a bill in its place. So. Thank you for joining us today with Brando Consulting, a quick and simple overview of reconciling.